So are you on your way to Sheraton Pasano Resort? Or maybe you're considering it for your next stay in Central Florida? Well, maybe you're trying to decide what villa and what section is best for you? Well, today we're gonna to take a look at the Fountains Two Phase and a two bedroom villa right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy and before we get started, taking a look at the villa here in the Fountains Two Phase at Sheraton Vasana Resort, I just wanna let you know, on this channel, I like to provide my knowledge, tips and advice to help you get the most from your timeshare ownership. And hey, if you don't happen to own timeshare, but you like staying at these beautiful resorts, I also do villa tours, resort reviews, and resort tours as well. So be sure to subscribe down below and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on a single video. So before we head in here and take a look at this villa here, the two bedroom in Fountains, I just want to point out that it is important to know there are no elevators. And these are actually three story buildings here in Fountains 2, the same over in Fountains 1. So if you need a ground floor, maybe you can't walk up steps, be sure to request that ground floor here. That's where we're at here. We're in 1467 and we're gonna head inside here and take a look. So when we first open the door, the first thing you'll notice is the dining room table. These villas don't really have a proper entryway, but there is a dining room table there that seats six. Next up, just off the dining room, is the full kitchen. Full set of appliances, oven, stove, microwave dishwasher, as well as a full-size refrigerator. This kitchen has pretty much anything and everything you would need. They even supply you with dish towels, dishwashing detergent, and paper towels. You also have a coffee maker there, salt and pepper shakers, as well as coffee, at least enough to get you started. In the cupboards, you're going to find a full set of dishware, coffee cups, cups, glasses, bowls, plates, just about everything you need, enough for a full table setting of eight. In the drawers, you're going to find your silverware, as well as a set of knives. Though I did notice they didn't really have a lot of steak knives in these drawers. You're also going to find cooking utensils, as well as anything else that you might need. They even have a can opener and a corkscrew. In a set of drawers beside the oven is your pots and pans. While you're standing here doing dishes, you do have a nice view out to the parking lot. Next, we're gonna move into the guest bedroom. Two full-size beds are in here, enough to sleep four, but probably only two comfortably. And this bedroom also has a large closet with a luggage rack and some clothes hangers to hang up and put away your clothes. A fairly large chest of drawers with a small television up on top. Now connected to this guest bedroom is also a guest bathroom. Now we'll see here in a minute, this guest bathroom also connects out to the main area of the villa. But in here, there is a toilet and a pretty large walk-in shower. And they do provide you with plenty of towels, washcloths, and hand towels. There's also a large single vanity with a very bright lighted mirror. Okay, so we're gonna go at the other entry into the bathroom here that I mentioned earlier. And you're gonna notice out here a door, which behind it has the stacking 
washer and dryer. Beside which is the iron and ironing board, and on the other side is the vacuum cleaner. Now back out into the main living area of the villa, we're moving from the dining room into the living room. A pretty big sofa with a chaise on the end, and this also pulls out into a queen size sleeper sofa. And across from that is a large television stand and perhaps one of the biggest televisions that we have seen in a timeshare villa, which also features a Bose sound system. Next up, we're heading into the master bedroom. In here, you're going to find a large king size bed adorned by two nightstands. There's also a chair over here in the corner. Now looking at the television here, you can tell we were pretty much the first people in this villa after their recent renovations. It still had the protective plastic coating around the frame. So as we continue just taking a look at this master bedroom here, I wanna ask if you're liking this video from Destination Timeshare, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It is truly one of the best ways to tell YouTube to tell that algorithm that this is a great video and to push it out to more people that are looking to come to Sheraton Vistana Resort. And another way to help out, please feel free to share this video, share it with your friends, share it with your family, even in your favorite Facebook group. Don't keep it all to yourself. It really does help out these videos. One disappointing thing that we noticed about this master bedroom is that there's no ceiling fan. And that is actually the one thing I forgot to point out earlier in the living room. That is actually the only room in the villa that has a ceiling fan. Now as we move into the master bathroom that's just connected to this master bedroom, the first thing you're going to notice is this very large jacuzzi tub. This bathroom is a little bit unique. You do have it kind of separated into two sections. You have this small vanity, which is kind of outside of the main bathroom area beside the closet, which inside has that safe we saw a little bit ago. But you do have this vanity here with again, a large lighted mirror. Heading into the main bathroom area where the toilet is, you also have another single vanity with a large lighted mirror. And again, almost an identical walk-in shower to what we saw in the guest bathroom. Okay, now that we've seen the interior of the villa, let's head outside to the patio. You have a patio table with four chairs, and overhead there's a ceiling fan. And our villa, actually had a nice view out to the lake. Another thing about these villas here in fountains, they have this door here off the patio. I wonder where it goes. So yeah, there is one of the cool features of these villas in the Fountains 2 phase and also Fountains 1 and really just about any building here at Sheraton Vistana Resort that is three stories is they have exits directly from the balconies out here into the courtyard area, these walkways that go around the lakes here at the resort. So that's pretty cool, have exits from the balcony. You can come out here, or you can go out through the main entrance that we came in through. But yeah, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And to see more videos about Timeshare, check out the description box below. And for another video about Sheraton Vistana Resort, check out this one right up here, and YouTube. They think you're gonna like that one down there. Be sure to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture right here, hit that notification bell, and until next time, let's make your next destination a timeshare.